Hi everyone, welcome back to Geeks O Geeks. In this video, we will discuss the problem reverse bit. Previously, this problem has been asked in companies like Amazon and Cisco. So let us read the problem statement and then see what we have to do in this problem. So in this problem, we will be given a 32-bit integer x and we have to reverse its binary representation and get the corresponding decimal number. So if you will see, suppose we talk about the number x is equal to 1. So if there is a number which, uh, which is x is equal to 1. So what is the binary representation of this number? So basically 1 is written as 1 only in bit representation. But since we are talking about 32 bits, so you can say that all the other bits on the left side would be what? All the other bits on the left side would be 0. And then you will have 1, 1 here. Okay, on the rightmost uh, side, that is the least significant bit will be 1 here. This is the rep binary representation of 1 in terms of 32 bit format. Now, if you will see here, what we have to do is we have to reverse these bits, right? We have to do what? We have to reverse. Now, what will happen is, suppose that normally if there is a string, suppose ABC. So, what is the reverse of that string? The reverse of that string is nothing but CBA. So, similarly, if the bits are 0, 0, 0, 0 and then uh, so on and so forth, 1. So, I will reverse their order just like I reverse a normal string. So, then what will happen is, then my uh, reversed uh, binary format will be 1, 0, 0, 0, then uh, zeros and then after that ending with zeros. So basically one element uh, will be 1 here and then rest of the bits will be 0, uh, okay, to complete the 32-bit integer format. And then whatever is the corresponding number with respect to that, this binary representation, that will get printed. So you can see that uh, 1, then uh, rest uh, remaining zeros. So the corresponding decimal number is 2147. 83648 right after this if you will see so the next uh, example is given as x is equal to 5 suppose that i am given x is equal to 5 so what can i do if x is given as 5 then in this particular scenario what will happen so when x is given as 5 then we will have nothing but 0 0 0 0 dot 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 0 0 0 1 like this so we'll have uh, 32 bits Okay, where uh, most of the bits will be 0 and then you'll have uh, 1, 0, 1 at the end, right? This will be the representation for 5. Now, when I will reverse this, when I will reverse this, then what is going to happen? So, then you will have 1, 0, 1, okay? Because uh, as I said, if you have A, B, C, so after reversing, it will be like C, B, A, okay? So, that is why uh, a lot of zeros and then 1, 0, 1. So, when you reverse, it will be 1, 0, 1 and then 0, 0, dot, 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 0, 0, 0 in 32 bits format right so how can we solve this problem so for solving this problem we need to deal with the bit representation itself and you can see that we will be having 32 bits so this means that we need to iterate for 32 times right so you can see here what will happen is suppose that n is given to me as 5 okay so what i will check uh, do is i will check the last bit of n at that point okay so if n is given as 5 so i will check whether the last bit of n is set or not so basically 5 is what it is like a lot of zeros are there, dot, 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 zero, zero, and then five, suppose. Okay, so when I have got this particular five here with me, uh, sorry, uh, in terms of binary representation, it will be one, zero, one here, right? Now, what will happen here is we will be starting off. So initially, I will declare a, let's say, resultant uh, reverse number. Let's say I will declare a reverse uh, number, let's say as uh, zero. Okay, then I will check whatever is the situation of the rightmost bit at that point. So as of now, we will be accessing this bit since it is 1. How can I check whether the rightmost bit of the current number is 1 or 0 by doing AND with 1. If I will do AND with 1, so if the last bit is 1, so I'll get 1. If it is 0, so I'll get 0. So right now when I will do AND, so I will get what? I will get nothing but 1 here. Okay, then after this what we can uh, say is that we will do result or we can say that we will do resultant uh, num uh, reverse number is equal to what? Reverse number is equal to reverse number or with the bit. Okay, because whatever is the scenario of that bit, uh, that we will accommodate. If it is 0, then uh, the last bit will not get changed. If the bit is 1, then what will happen? Then uh, on the rightmost side, the bit will become 1. So now in the reverse format, we will have 1. So, so far you can say that things are simple. Now after this, what will happen is, uh, the next time when you will iterate, so you have to remove because you are iterating for 32 times. So next time you want to access this bit. So before that you want to remove this one. So that is why what you want to do is with the number you want to right shift it with one so that the rightmost bit can get removed. So then what will happen? You will do what? You will do number is equal to number 
uh, right shift one so that the right mouse bit is removed and then after that you will have what zero 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 dot 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 zero zero and then one zero now after this what will happen you will have this bit so now how you will get the bit bit is equal to number and with one so now you are going to get what zero now you have the reverse number with you right so you want to accommodate one more bit so that is why you will do what left shift so that one bit can get added on the right side so you will do what reverse uh, number is equal to reverse left shift one so now reverse number will look like what it was earlier one now in the binary presentation it will have also zero here right now once i have got my reverse number so i will do what i will check that whether this bit is one or zero okay so if it is zero so last bit of reverse will still remain zero if it is one then i want the last bit to become one so which operation i will use i can use the or operation here so i will do reverse is equal to reverse or with the bit so then the reverse uh, number will become what one zero or with zero what will i get one zero only okay now i want to get rid of this particular bit so what should i do i should simply apply the operation n is equal to n right shift one so that i can remove the rightmost bit okay then after this what will happen again i want to check the bit so now the number is what understand that the number is zero 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 dot 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 zero 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 one now okay now i will check for this particular position how will i check so the bit will be nothing but i can do n and one if the bit is one then i'll if the last bit uh, if the rightmost bit is one then i'll get one otherwise i'll get zero okay so this will be my bit now after this what is going to happen guys understand this now uh, my reverse like since i am uh, going to accommodate one more bit so my reverse number should become reverse left shift with one why i will do left shift with one because i want what i want one more place so i will uh, now my result earlier was one zero when i will do left shift with one so it will become zero and now after this uh, i will do what i will do reverse is equal to reverse or with the bit because if the bit that i've got just now if it is one then in the reverse format i also want one otherwise i want zero so in this case what will happen reverse will be one zero zero or with one so you'll get what you'll get one zero one here i hope this makes sense right then after this what will happen uh, you want to remove the uh, this particular bit that is one so now you will do what you will again apply the operation of right shift so you will do n is equal to n right shift one then after this what will happen the number will be zero 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 dot 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 zero zero like this then you will access this particular bit the moment you are going to access this bit so the bit will be what bit will be number and with uh, one so you'll get zero so what will you get in the bit you'll get nothing but zero at this point of time and then after that you want to accommodate one more bit so you will say that reverse uh, is equal to reverse left shift with one so the moment you do left shift with one so one more place gets there so now earlier you had one zero one now since you have done left shift with one so one more zero will get added here okay now what you will do is uh, you will uh, check if that bit was one uh, then you will like the rightmost bit to become one otherwise you will still want it to be zero so you will do reverse is equal to reverse or this particular bit so the reverse number will become what it will become one zero one zero or with zero so you'll get what guys you will still get one zero one zero only right then after this what is going to happen after this like again the process will keep on repeating and you can understand that what will happen is as you will keep on proceeding so uh, you will keep on adding the zero bits uh, on the right side one by one as you keep on iterating for all the 32 steps and uh, once you are done with that then you will get this particular representation that is you can see that you will get 101 and then a lot of zeros remaining zeros right so you can see that this is how our number is uh, getting generated because i have 1010 zero, zero, right uh, if i'll do the next step so I'll get what one zero one zero zero. So this is how it will keep on moving forward, and then at the end of the day, my reverse number will actually represent uh, represent what it will represent the uh, reverse of the uh, number that was given. It's uh, reverse binary representation format corresponding decimal number. I'll get okay. So let's try and code this uh, to check if our approach is correct or not. So what I will do here is I'll simply say that I will declare long long. Uh, let's say reverse uh, zero then after this what you need to do is you need to iterate for all the 32 bits so you can say that uh, you can start uh, it from zero till i is less than equal to 31 then you can do i plus plus after this part what you will do is you will uh, check the bit so you can say that uh, let's say long long bit is equal to what it will be nothing but x and with one okay first of all you'll do x and with one because here the number has been given as x uh, or if you want we can take n also let's take n instead of x so yes now after this what will happen is now in the reverse number i want to accommodate this place so reverse will be uh, equal to reverse left shift with one okay then after this what is going to happen is after this i will 
check if that bit is one or zero whatever then i want my right most bit of the reverse uh, number to get updated according to that so that is why i'm using the or operator and after this i have to do what i have to update my n because i want to remove the current rightmost bit and i want to access the bit adjacent to it so that's why i, I will be removing it so i am doing n is equal to n right shift with one then after this at the end of the day my reverse number would be uh, reverse uh, binary format would be ready and i can just return the corresponding decimal number by returning the rev variable so yeah let's try and submit again to check if it is getting accepted on all the test cases or not so you can see that our code was able to pass all the test cases and uh, the approach is basically uh, constant because we are iterating only for the 32 bits so the loop is running 32 times only that is constant in nature and we have not taken any, any extra space and this problem has been asked previously in amazon cisco so i hope you understood this clearly please make sure to mention understood or clear in the chat let me know how you like the explanation and thank you for watching uh, keep coding guys